Hi everybody, this is Algebra 1 Lesson 38, and this lesson covers ratio problems. Alright, so ratio problems, um, when we have a ratio, we're saying that uh, two things are equal, and to figure out what our missing number is, so we've got 4 over m equals 21 over 5. We're going to cross multiply, so we're going to multiply here, and we're going to multiply here. So if we do m times 21, that would be 21m. And then 4 times 5 equals 20. And then to solve this, this means 21 times m, we're just going to divide by 21. Right? So m is going to equal 20 over 21. So where we have the two numbers, right, we multiply, and then the one that is diagonal from our variable is the one we divide. All right, we're going to try some word problems like this. The ratio of pigs to goats in the barnyard was 7 to 5. If there were 91 pigs, how many goats were there? Okay, so on this one, we're going to draw a ratio box. So we've got pigs and we've got goats. All right, so I'm going to make a tic-tac-toe board, basically. And my pigs is the first word. So pigs, pigs is going to be 7. And my goats is the second one, so goats is going to be the second number, which is 5. If there are 91 pigs, how many goats were there? So there's 91 where the pigs is. How many goats are there? That's where we're going to put our x, because that's what we're trying to figure out. And then there's our ratio. We just copy those numbers over. So 7 to 5 equals 91 to x. Then all you have to do is cross multiply, so 91 times 5. Uh, 5 times 1 is 5, 9 times 5 is 45, 455, 455 equals, then we cross multiply here, 7x. So now we just divide by 7. Um, 455 divided by 7, uh, 6 times 7 is 42, 3, 35, 7 times 5 is 35, so x equals 65. All right, I'll do that over. So another way to do it, once we've got our ratio figured out, our equal sign is in there, we know that the ones that are diagonal, we multiply, so we're going to need 5 times 91, and then we're going to divide by the one that is diagonal from the x, right? Divide by 7. That's how you would come up that, with that answer that way. In the same barnyard, the ratio of chickens to ducks was 9 to 4. If there were 108 chickens, how many ducks were there? All right, so we've got chickens to ducks. I'll draw our, our little tic-tac-toe board here. Um, so the ratio of chickens, chickens is our first word, so 9 is going to be related to chickens. Ducks is going to be 4. Okay. There were 108 chickens, so my, where my chicken says, I'm going to write 108, and then my blank spot is going to be my x. So I've got 9 to 4 equals 108 to x. Then we just cross multiply, so 4 times 108, 8 times 4 is 32, times 1 is 4, 432 equals, then we do 9 times x, which would be 9x. Then we just divide by 9. Whichever one is diagonal from your variable is the one you're going to divide. So 432 divided by 9. Uh, 9 times 7, let's see, 9 times 5 is 45. So 9 times 4 is um, 36. 4, 7. All right, and then 2, and then 9 times 8 is 72, so x equals 48. Yes. All right, so use cross-multiply. All right, go ahead and pause the video and work the practice problems that will work them for you. All right, so this first one says, the ratio of neophytes to masters at the tryout was 7 to 2. If there's 740, 14 neophytes, how many masters were there? Sometimes they're going to give you crazy words that you don't know what they mean. It doesn't matter. We're just going to represent this with N, right? So we've got N to M. 
neophytes, masters. Okay. The ratio of N is our first one, so that's going to be the 7. M is our second one, so that's going to be the 2. There are 714 neophytes, so that's N. So our 714 goes where our N is. And then our blank spot is on the M. That's where our X goes. So we're going to say 7 over 2 equals 714 over X. Then we multiply here. So 2 times 714. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. And then we would have 1, 4, 2, 8 equals, multiply here, 7 times X would be 7X. And then we just divide by 7 on both sides. So 14, 28 divided by 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Uh, 0. 7 times 4 is 28. It's 204. So the answer to this one is 204. Okay, next one says, the crowd at Belgrade Town Square was made of Krauts and Serbs in the ratio of 5 to 9. If there were 18,000 Serbs, how many Krauts were there? So we're going to have Krauts, Serbs, and the ratio is 5 to 9. And we've got 18,000 Serbs. Okay, that's our S. So our X goes up there. So we're going to say 5 to 9 equals X over 18,000. So we're going to multiply here. So 18,000 times 5. Drop these zeros. 1, 2, 3. 8 times 5 is 40. 5 times 1 is 5. 6, 7, 8, 9. 90,000. Equals 9 times X. 9x, and then we just divide by 9. Oh, that made that easy. That would be 10,000. So that's the answer to that one. All right, that was a pretty easy lesson, and that it is it for lesson 38. Thanks for watching.